Hey everyone, welcome from Miami. It is beautiful, sunny, uh, it's a balmy 80 degrees. Um, my name is Kunya Rowley and I am our Associate Director of Sales and Customer Service. And today I wanted to take you on a tour of our showroom. Come on in. So last year our showroom welcomed hundreds of guests from all over South Florida and really across the world. These were executive chefs, general managers, hospitality executives. Each one of them came in looking for some type of solution. So I'd love to bring that experience to you today. So the way this product walkthrough is gonna be sectioned, we're gonna have four sections. We'll talk a little bit about our porcelain collections. Um, we'll then talk a bit about disposables and we'll walk through and go through our serve wise, our picks. Um, we'll spend some time exploring plate-wise and drink-wise, and then we'll wrap up with our buffet building blocks. So let's start over here with our porcelain dinnerware. And I specifically, before we dive into Artifact, I want to talk a little bit about our, our porcelain overall. When we talk about porcelain, it really starts with a strong foundation and that foundation is really a durable body and so when we talk about the the body of a porcelain it's really important to talk about what those ingredients are and primarily the the most important ingredient and what we do and what we produce for our porcelain artifact spiral ink is going to be an ingredient called alumina or aluminum oxide and this is really going to be an agent that helps to bolster the durability of the of the product so we take that, all those ingredients, and then we mold it. Um, we fire it at temperatures in excess of 1300 degrees Celsius. We take it out, we glaze it with our metal marking and fade resistant glaze. And then we go ahead and put it back um, and uh, fire it at temperatures again at 1300 degrees Celsius. And so what that process, that double, that double firing process does, it really helps to create a, a fully vitrified, very durable commercial grade body. So what you'll notice in all of our porcelain, it's, all of it's going to be oven safe, all of it's going to be dishwasher safe, um, all of it's going to be microwave safe. So all of it's been designed and manufactured specifically for commercial grade use. So let's talk a little bit about Artifact to start. So when you take a look at our Artifact collection, you'll, you'll notice that it's going to be the same commercial grade body that we were just talking about. So what you'll see that's a little bit different from it though is that this very top part is going to have a glaze on it and you'll see some also some really cool um, designs and marks on here as well but the very bottom is going to give you that raw rustic unglazed finish what's important to note about this however is that even though it's unglazed it's still completely fully vitrified so you're going to notice that it comes in two colors we've got the ash artifact and this is going to be an off-white color it's going to have this really cool speckling throughout um, and then we've got the the white and so this is going to be re really similar to our um, original bright white porcelain as well um, both of them are going to have that, that really cool organic looking shape but something that's really important to, to talk about is that even though they've got this oblong shape or this kind of organic round shape, they're still gonna be completely 100% stackable as well. So we understand that, especially for restaurants, if the front of the house is small, the back of the house is gonna be even smaller. And so the ability to be able to stack this up and really maximize space is really, really, really important. Um, throughout, and probably the one thing that I'll always talk about when I talk about our, our dinner work collections, is that you're going to have, um, it's, it's very expansive, and so you've got a lot of options for, for round plates, you've got a lot of options for bowls, um, we even have um, some mugs and saucers, so it's a really comprehensive, comprehensive collection. So typically when you, when restaurateurs, hospitality professionals, they, they see products like this, um, it looks a little bit like it's going to be something that's going to be stone or um, you know clay, um, and you know you would think that this kind of like handmade look, um, and it's very rare that you'll find something that looks like this, but that's actually porcelain commercial grade, and that's really going to be important when it comes to. Um, service restaurant use making sure to avoid uh, breakage and damage. Um, 
one of the things that we see as chefs continue to push the culinary envelope is they're looking to plate their products on something that's just as unique as the food that they're, they're plating. And so one of the, the pitfalls that happens is they may go ahead and you know, source some artisan dinnerware, artisan plateware, but it's really not going to be able to withstand that, that wear and tear. And then our advantage also, and the disadvantage of, disadvantage of that, is then going to be the resupply, um, which is an uh, area in which we really excel. Um, some of the customers that we've seen success with this, we've got some properties in Hilton, we've got Disney properties as well. Um, so this has been doing really fantastically for us. Uh, so let's uh, move on over to our Spiral Ink collection. So if you are familiar with our Spiral and Bright White, then this collection is going to be really familiar to you as well. So since its inception, we'll, we'll look at uh, Spiral and Bright White first. So since its inception um, towards the, the very beginning of, of really when Front of the House was born, Spiral has long since been um, among the top selling and top um, performing collections that we've had here at Front of the House. So what we did is we took some of our most popular styles and sizes and designs and um, repurposed them and uh, gave them a new um, a new design with a really sexy semi-matte black glaze that you'll see over here. So something to note, this is going to be the same high alumina oxide body as the artifact that we just saw. It's simply got a sleek glaze on it, and it's got a really subtle embossed spiral design. So even though this is an abridged version of our spiral in bright white, it still features a really ex uh, expansive collection um, of various products. So you're going to notice we've got round plates, we've got rectangles, we've got the bowls. We've even got a cup and saucer and um, and uh, a tea a tea a teapot. So a lot of versatility. And one of the things that we're really seeing, especially here in the U.S. for regional chains, um, a lot of our customers are really gravitating towards towards black porcelain because it's extremely versatile. Um, and most importantly, when we when we talk about the the ideas and the concepts that we can create out of with, with plating, it really offers a lot of versatility and a lot of options as well. One thing that you'll notice when you, when you pick up some of the, and look at some of the porcelain, and all of our porcelain, a lot of it's gonna have the reinforced edges or the rolled edges. And so we know, especially as it's being picked up, especially as it's putting it, being put in the dishwasher, that's where it's gonna start to to, to really crack or chip. And so we, what we've done is we've taken, we've taken por a lot of our porcelain items and reinforced those edges to really help to, to mitigate some of those challenges. Now, one of the questions that we probably get the most with customers in our showroom coming through and looking at our porcelain is, will it chip, will it break? The answer is yes. Um, but with proper care and handling and storing, um, you can really, really protect the investment of your, your porcelain items. Um, so you're going to really find that the, the durability of both the artifact and spiral ink are exactly comparable. Um, both have been designed for commercial grade use. Both are extremely durable, but the true test will be about the care and handling. And we actually have a lot of tools and resources that we can provide to restaurants, our distribution partners as well, um, and, and how to protect that investment. So we are going to pivot a little bit um, from extremely durable porcelain to disposables. And this has been really a focus for us. So especially um, in this, this current climate, as more and more consumers globally become more eco-conscious, as consumers are demanding um, sustainable products, it's really really force um, designers and manufacturers to really ensure that we're providing options that are sustainable, but that also look good and are functional. And so one the, the first product that I wanted to focus on, um, it's going to be our paper straws. And there's been a lot about this. And so um, increased regulations, increased laws around the, you know, the banning of, of plastics and plastic straws. Um, it's something that's really not going away. Um, consumers 
are still requesting straws. And quite honestly, they're judging restaurants and hospitality providers um, harshly when they're, when they're given a plastic straw. So it's so critical that operators are able to find affordable, functional, sustainable products um, to offer their consumers. So one thing that I will say is there's a lot of um, restaurants and hotels are really weary of paper straws, and rightfully so. Some disintegrate the moment you put it into any type of liquid. Some of them taste really bad. So our paper straws, they're gluten-free, they're 100% biodegradable, and they last in liquids up to four, sorry, beyond four hours in cold beverages. So this is not only something that looks good, but it's highly, highly functional. And one of the things that you'll see kind of over here when we start to look at some of our, our picks, um, we have a variety of picks that are also stocked at our EUDC. One from a business proposition you know, function that we like to talk about a lot. Uh, this is not only a great way to help menu items stand out, but this is also a fantastic way for chefs to indicate to their servers um, for any allergens or spe um, specialty menu items. So a really good idea to also include, um, especially in this day, day and age when there are a lot more allergies, sensitivities, et cetera. I wanna take you around to our ServeWise collection over here to talk a little bit more about that. So, one of the things that's important to know is that our consumers are becoming far more savvy. Um, they know that there are products out there that are sustainable, that are eco-friendly. And so not only are they expecting that, they're demanding it. And they, they don't only want it to be functional, they want it to look good as well. And so this, again, is where we have an advantage, especially in our ServeWise collection. So as you'll notice, this comes in a really wide range of options um, from everything from multiple sizes and boats to, to cups to platters to this really adorable taco holder, um, to even actually um, forks and knives and spoons. And so when we started to design this, it was really important that we offered a wide swatch of, of options for our customers because we understand that menus can be so varied. And so we want to make sure that we're really providing the tools and the solutions that are going to meet the needs of, of, of the menus. So these are 100% um, biodegradable, compostable, and they're also functional. So they're oven safe uh, up to 45 minutes at 175 degrees Celsius. They also can hold thicker, um, more viscous sauces. So this is gonna be something where you're gonna wanna avoid a liquid or a broth, but certainly for a sauce, this is gonna be really great. And again, oven safe for up to 45 minutes. Uh, not a long, enough time to bake a turkey, but certainly enough time to, to get a, um, a crisp on something as well. Um, one other thing also in the ServeWise collection, we'll grab that later. One other thing also in the ServeWise collection that's a really perfect partner for this are the ServeWise lids. So these are made from PET, so they're very easily recyclable. In the US, it's recyclable code one. And a couple of things that I want to point out for this. So what you'll notice on the very top of this are ventilation holes. And so that's going to allow consumer, sorry, operators to really use this not only for cold foods, but for hot foods as well. So we're seeing a lot of success with this, not only for events, but for caterers, grab and go. And then especially also now, especially in the US, one of the things that we're finding is that takeout and delivery has increased significantly. So this is also a really fantastic option for that as well. All right, let's move on and pivot, pivot from disposable eco-friendly options to unbreakable eco-friendly options. We're gonna take a walk through our showroom over to our plate-wise and our drink-wise collection. So plate-wise has been um, in our family for, for many years and it's done really, really well. This has been a fantastic alternative to melamine. And so what you'll notice is that this is gonna have the look and the feel of melamine and so it's and unbreakable, but it's actually, and maybe surprisingly, all natural bamboo. 
So this is going to be 100% biodegradable, a natural product. Um, what we found is that there was such a need for customers to have something that was highly functional, um, like melamine, and, and very durable, but also, again, very eco-friendly. We've seen phenomenal success with this in a couple of applications. Um, university dining and residential dining, fast casual dining as well, um, alfresco dining. Um, this is a really a perfect option for kids' menus as well. So there are going to be some options out there um, that offer kind of this, uh, you know, unbreakable. So certainly there's melamine. GET also has a line that's, I believe, a combination of melamine and bamboo. But again, it's not going to be 100% biodegradable. So the way that we were able to do this, again, it's, it's bamboo, it's molded, and then it's got a food safe lacquer that's also degra uh, biodegradable on it. And it comes in two really cool um, finishes. So you'll notice the one that I'm holding now. It's going to be from our mod collection, and so it's got a really sleek, modern um, wood uh, decal on it as well. And then, in plate wise, we've got the organic. So again, it's got um, a one color, a very like cool dimpled finish on it as well, and a modern organic shape. And again, 100% stackable as well. One thing to note and to talk about, and this is you know really selling any type of product, understanding the application for PlateWise is always going to be really important. Um, we, we like to really make sure that we know kind of understand some of the foods that customers are going to be using in it. Um, so if it's going to be um, a red sauce or a curry, I, you know, I just want to make sure that customers have the opportunity to try it out first because it could, uh, do, it could stay in a little bit. Um, and then the, the final thing that I, in understanding the product to note is that because it's an all natural item, um, it's dishwasher safe for thousands of washings, but it does have a life to it. So after um, uh, some, some use, you're gonna start to see some of the wear and tear. And so it's gonna be important to really watch that for resupply as well. So the perfect partner for our plate wise items are our drink wise items. Let me grab this one over here. So this is going to be a proprietary th thermal resin, and I think one of the, the biggest things to highlight about DrinkWise is that it's 100% BPA-free. So in the world of, of plastics and drinkware, um, it's, it's really hard to find the right piece. So sometimes it looks great, but it scratches really easily, or it's, it's well-priced, but it's really heavy and it's really clunky, or the worst, it's got BPA in it, which is terrible. Don't do that one. Um, what's great about DrinkWise is that it's lightweight, BPA-free, doesn't scratch or craze very easily, um, and so it's a really perfect partner, um, especially for, for plate-wise, but also for an establishment that is looking for something that is extremely, extremely durable. Um, one of the items actually, is this the right one? This is, oh, I was actually holding it. So this 16 ounce drinkwise hammered glass was also our top selling item um, for front of the house in 2019. It was purchased uh, by Google for their um, for th for their corporate headquarters for their their dining hall. So again, a really fantastic option. Dishwasher safe. It's also um, heat resistant as well. So really great option for that. One thing I do want to note. So one of the great applications for this is going to be um, you know poolside, beachside, just an understanding and managing expectations. When this, there is, um, if customers have uh, sunscreen on their hand, it can cause a bit of, react of reaction um, if it's not washed immediately. So, so just something to note, but if that does happen, we actually have some solutions available in our care and handling instructions as well. All right, we've talked about plate-wise, we've talked about drink-wise, now we're going to talk about my, my favorite collection, and that is our buffet building blocks, our B-cubed, um, over here. So I want to be really honest and, and transparent. One of the things that we know about buffet is that it hasn't always been synonymous with luxury and really great food. But Hotels.com had a really interesting survey out. And what it cited was that 
guests, when picking a, a hotel, many guests make that decision based on whether or not a hotel offers breakfast. And these guests don't want just, you know, some sliced bread on a plate and a basket with bananas and apples. They want options for hot foods. They want delicious cold foods. They want fresh cut fruit. They want charcuterie. And so honestly, hotels are really having to step up their game to provide those options that customers really want. And not only does it have to be functional, but it has to be flexible. So very often a hotel may have to uh, set this uh, set a display up in multiple spaces. Uh, a stadium may have different suites with different, different themes. And so you need the, the flexibility and the ability to be able to switch out items, move things here, move things there in a way that's going to really speak to your brand and your image uh, really well. And, and most importantly, it has to look good. Um, another study done by Oxford says that as humans, we associate things that look good with tasting better. So having something that looks really beautif beautiful and is be beautifully presented really impacts the way customers perceive that. So now we're gonna move on to my favorite collection, and that's our buffet building blocks collections. So let's be honest, the word buffet has not always been synonymous with luxury and delicious food, but a lot of that has changed significantly. In fact, Hotels.com did a survey of some of its guests on what was the deciding factor for why they chose a specific hotel, and many of them cited whether or not a hotel had breakfast. And here's the thing, these guests don't want some bread on a plate, a basket of bananas and, and apples. They want delicious hot foods, delicious cold foods, freshly prepared things, charcuterie, fresh cut fruits. And they really are demanding that it really look great and that it be displayed in a really practical way. Um, not only does it have to be functional and practical for the guests, it also has to be functional for the operators, especially when we, we think about hotels and country clubs and stadiums. Many of them are taking one display from one suite to another, moving, the, moving a display from, from one room to another, each with its own set of brand guidelines, its own look and feel. And so there has to be that ability to mix and match displays to create something that's unique and that also speaks to the aesthetics of wherever it's being displayed. And then most importantly, it has to look good. Oxford did a study that says, as humans, we associate things that look good with tasting better. And so the need for operators to pr create beautiful presentations that look appealing is critical. So this is really where we as a um, manufacturer and designer um, have a huge advantage. We've really perfected the recipe for creating a collection, a very expansive collection of buffet tools, solutions, and building blocks in a wide range of materials, um, heights, displays, to really allow customers to create something that's unique every single time. So the key to a really impactful buffet presentation is actually a beautiful foundation. And there's no foundation more beautiful than our MetroWeave. So this is gonna be a really great option for operators who want to use something that's A, gonna protect their table, but B, really provide a different element and color to their buffet presentation. What's fantastic about our MetroWeave is that it comes in a variety of colors and sizes and shapes. So it's a really inexpensive way to update the look and feel of any presentation. They're bacteria resistant, they're also gonna be fade resistant. So this is always gonna be the perfect place to start. So when we talk about what makes a buffet presentation, really fantastic. What makes the elements really um, impactful? I like to talk about a couple of different different things. The first thing that I always talk about uh, about what makes our, our buffet building blocks really special is the multifunctionality of it. And I'll, I'll use a couple of examples to really display that. So 
before I talk about that, I, I always talk about um, our CEO, Simone Mayer, who's also our CCO, our chief, our chief creative officer. And one of the things that I love about Simone is that it makes her so happy when things have multiple functions. And so when you take a look at our showroom and really all throughout our catalog, you'll notice that there really isn't one specific item that only has one function. Every single item can be used in a variety of ways, in a variety of functions. We really want to make sure that when we introduce them into the market, we've got our operators in mind and that we really create things that allow them to maximize their investment. So you're going to see that a lot um, in, in some of the things that I'm showing you, that it's going to be the perfect solution for this and that and, and probably this as well. So let's talk a little bit about our zigzag risers over here. This is really a masterclass in, in functionality. So what you'll notice is we have a couple of different sizes. We've got a small, we've got a medium, we've got a large. Right here, you'll see that this, this particular um, pillar is only housing one board, one display, or with two. And what's really cool about this is that this really allows operators to choose the level or size that they want to go. So right now we have it at this height, but there are definitely options for making it higher, lower, adding a board as well. So we really try to provide win-win solutions um, when we're adding something to the market. Now one other thing that I want to highlight also kind of in the, the zigzag family um, is that we've actually got acrylic drawers that fit into them and many of, of our risers. So what's great about this is that this can be used not only as, in addition to being used as a riser, as a drawer as well. So we've really allowed this, this one item to do double duty and to go ahead and have multiple functions and to create something that's got usable space in multiple places. Now we know that Yes, multifunctionality is important, but we also want to be able to keep hot foods hot and cold foods cold. So we've got a couple of different options that I want to show you as well. So this over here for hot foods is a really, really, really um, functional, functional display. So this is going to be our grill plate. And this comes in a couple different sizes. This is going to be our largest size, actually. Um, and right under it, you're going to see our fuel cell riser. So we know that sternos are not the most uh, sexy thing that you've ever seen. And so you might not necessarily want it to be seen or a part of your buffet display. So this comes in two colors, and it comes in a set of two. So you actually have some options when it comes to sizes and heights. Um, if you want something that's going to be a little bit lower, uh, you can turn it this way, and it goes to be, though, a little bit higher, though. You have the option of turning it up and putting it in this way. And of course, if you have a second one, that of course increases the height as well. So simply put one or two, depending on what the product is or what the, the menu item calls for, underneath your grill plate. You'll want to make sure that it's a couple inches. The vessel is actually going to be a couple inches from the, the flame. Otherwise, this is a fantastic way and a beautiful way to keep things um, warm. Talking about our options for cold as well, we definitely have a couple of a couple of options. So certainly, some of the things that we know out there, customers we uh, use our pans, our housing pans for ice. But one of the things, and some of the feedback that we got from some of our customers is that the ice can be a little bit messy. It's not quite for us. You have to keep refilling it. So in addition to um, customers using our housing pans with ice, um, we also have these gel packs. So this, this is going to be a really efficient, really clean way to keep cold things cold. Um, and this gel pack, simply put it in the freezer for a couple of hours, bring it out. You'll want to, depending on the size of the item, you'll, you can put one or two here, um, and then simply cover it with our, our high-grade stainless steel plate here. So really, really cool option, very functional, um, and really easy and clean to use. Okay. The, the most important other function or element of a really impactful uh, buffet presentation is probably the design. I mean, as a, a company and as an organization, we like 
things that are beautiful and we like to make things that look beautiful. And so we know especially as brand becomes more important, as social media becomes an equal partner in everybody's business, things looking good, that has to be at the forefront of anything. And so we also want to make sure that whatever customers, whatever tools we provide customers, they can be used in multiple spaces as well. So what you'll find, especially on this display, this is a great representation of, of, of that. We are totally always encouraging our customers to mix and match throughout collections. So you're going to see a lot of elements of wood here with this buffet board, of stainless steel with our antique stainless steel trays as well. If you're not into the antique look, we also have our Harmony, our, our Harmony, um, the matte brass. So this is going to be really cool. So this is a double walled Harmony bowl, so it's going to keep things uh, cold as well. So we always encourage our customers to really mix and match throughout all of our collections. You don't have to stay in one family. You can pull something, something from here and add, it, and, and, and add it there. And that's what we've really kind of designed. We've designed that with, um, with that type of versatility in mind. I would say the last thing that I always like to, to, to really focus on are the easy sells. So what are some of the solutions that maybe our operators aren't thinking about or didn't even imagine that we had? When we think through the functionality of a buffet presentation or buffet display, how are customers going to throw things away? So we really make sure that we have things um, like this, um, a, a tabletop trash bin. So perfect for um, coffee stirrers, sugar packets, things like that. You know, where are customers, how, what are they using for their napkins? So we've got a variety of napkin holders in stainless steel and copper and woods. Um, what are customers using to take their accessories or utensils from? We've also got a lot of options for that. So we really want to find and hone in on some of those solutions that customers may not be remembering yet um, so that we can really ensure that they, they have everything they need so they're set up for success. So that is all I have for you today. Um, I want to thank you for coming to Miami digitally with me, uh, taking some time to explore our showroom. And if you have any questions, want more information on something specifically, need a bit more information, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself. Don't hesitate to reach out to your regional sales manager. Um, we are happy to help you. So if you still have questions, you're not alone. Here are some of the questions that our international partners also had. Are the items 100% non-porous? Absolutely. So one of the important things to remember when we talk about the, the double firing process, that process really ensures that it removes the porosity. And so it's a 100% vitrified product. Great question. Um, are all of the products food safe certified? Fantastic question. Absolutely. So here in the U.S., everything for front of the house is FDA compliant. Um, it's also in, in the EU. It's compliant with those regulations as well um, for all of the for all of the EU. Is the wood rate the the wooden products? Is it FSC compliant or certified? Yes, our, our wood products are FSC certified. Um, and the last question, why is the buffet collection called B cubed? So uh, great question. It's, you know, buffet, building, oh, buffet, building blocks. Um, so again, if you have any other questions, you want to ask something, please uh, shoot me an email, give me a call. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have.